Before calculating the system hydraulics, it may be necessary to assign elevation to the water source and one or more sprinkler symbols. It is not necessary to assign elevation to all symbols on the design. It is only necessary to assign elevation to the worst case sprinkler symbol or symbols within a zone. To assign a water source to an elevation, open the water sources command. Enter the elevation assignment in the elevation text box. To assign an elevation to one or more selected sprinkler symbols, select the symbols and open the properties command. You can open the properties command from the view menu or by clicking on the toolbar icon. In the properties box, enter an elevation assignment in the text box and press the enter key. Close the properties box by clicking on the X in the top right corner of the dialog box. You can assign elevation to sprinkler symbols based on the relationship to the water source, or you can assign actual elevations if they're known. For example, the water source may be assigned an elevation of zero. A sprinkler symbol that is 10 feet above the water source may be assigned an elevation of 10. The hydraulics command will show a loss in pressure due to elevation as the water flows uphill. A sprinkler symbol that is 10 feet below the water source may be assigned an elevation of negative 10. But remember, the program looks for the worst case scenario within the zone. Assume the water source is set to an elevation of zero. If a sprinkler in a zone is set to a negative 10 and all others within the zone are left at zero, the sprinklers at a zero will have a higher pressure loss than the one set to a negative 10. The one set at negative 10 will actually gain pressure as the water flows downhill. The hydraulics command will display a change in elevation as zero for this scenario. Now, set all of the sprinklers in the zone to a negative 10 elevation. The hydraulics command displays the pressure loss within the system. Since a drop in elevation is actually a gain in pressure, the gain is shown as a negative value in the loss column. The elevation change in the hydraulic calculations will show a minus 4.33 psi value, which is actually a gain in pressure. You may also enter the exact elevation assignments if they're known. For example, a water source may be assigned an elevation of 50, while a sprinkler 10 feet above would be assigned 60, and a sprinkler 10 feet below assigned an elevation of 40.